Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo beat tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make a border like this around all of your thumbnails super easily and I'll show you how to use it for later. So it's a really cool effect and it's super easy to do. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys two methods you can use. The first method is going to be the most efficient and it's going to be a really easy way to do it. And the second method is another way to do it. It's a little less efficient, but you end up with the same results um, depending on how good you are at it. And so we're going to start out with method one, which is the easiest way. Just go over here to your rectangle tool on the bottom left. Go up here to fill and make sure you click this X. What it's going to do is make the inside of the rectangle transparent so you will not see it. And we're going to add a stroke and this stroke is going to be white because you'll see in a second why and now what you want to do is just go to the top left of your image hold left click and drag it all the way to the bottom right it should lock onto the bottom right which will help you out a lot and you can see we have the border now yours is probably going to look like this so what you want to do to make the border a little bit bigger is go up here to the drop down arrow and just drag the little slider up or down or you could type it in manually uh, personally I think 48 looks really good and you can see we have our border now and in order to get the cool effect on it you want to click on it go up here to this little drop down menu and click on overlay and this will give it that really cool effect that is just basically transparent but it's a little bit brighter than the background itself and it's a really cool effect so now I'm gonna show you guys method 2 okay so method 2 is a lot less efficient but you can achieve the same results if you are good at it. So what you want to do is just go down here to your rectangle again. But this time, get rid of the stroke and enable the fill to white. And you'll see what I'm going to do. What you want to do is just drag like we did the first time, but draw each side border. So you can see here, here's the first one. And then what you want to do is duplicate this layer. So control J and then move it over on this side. And then do the same for the top and bottom and you can see why this isn't very efficient because you know the widths and heights can be all off on each side it won't be exactly the same most of the time unless you take your time with it but you can see here we made the border and now what you want to do is just hold control and click all those shape layers and then right click and click merge layers that'll make it one whole layer and now just change the blend mode to overlay and you get the same results but I'm sure the sides and top and bottom are off when it comes to the width and height, but that's how you do it. Those are the two methods. I'm sure there's more methods, but that first one was probably the best method you can do. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can save this border and use it for a later project. So what you wanna do is just hide all the layers besides the border layer and go up to file, export as PNG. Make sure to turn the quality up to 100 and also PNG is essential. It will not work with JPEG or anything like that. So make sure you do PNG and hit save. So now if we remove the border, unhide the background layer, we can drag in our border. So here it is. Just change the blend mode to overlay and you got it. So it makes it a lot more time efficient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.